and Penny, welcome back to another weekly vlog, 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 it's Monday, bank holiday Monday, I didn't start over the weekend because I haven't been well again, but we're going to start today, um, I'm feeling a lot better today, which is good, I've had a shower, I've got a lot of filming to do today and I need to go to the shops, so I'll probably take you with me, here's Maxie, he came over for a cuddle as I was setting up, so he's just sat here with me, um, he's going to have to move in a minute because I've got to do this, sort this out i'm not going to film my skincare because you've seen it you've seen it all you've seen it all but yeah if we just start off this vlog i'm going to get ready i'm doing a video i'm going to be testing the new hnb foundation again because yeah it didn't go so well last time um but i want to try a, a more hydrating like what do they call it primer i used a mattifying one and i thought that would work because that's the type of it was the same type of um, foundation, but no, it didn't. It didn't. So we'll try something different and see if that works. If not, I might have to yeah, call that one a dud, but I don't want to because it was 20 quid. I mean, I didn't pay 20 quid for it. I got it a bit cheaper, but that's not a point. Anyway, I'm going to crack on and I will catch up with you when we're off out and about. Okay, this is my final look. What do you think? I think it looks okay. I've used uh, some of the Beauty Crop products and I'm retesting the HNB foundation and so far, so good. But now we're off to Asda and Home Bargains and hopefully I'm going to be able to take you with me. It is absolutely chucking it down the rain and it could very well be quite busy because it's Bank Holiday Monday. So if it is, I will insert what I can, um, but I might not be able to film the whole way around or anything because I'll be on my scooter um especially in asda i'll be on a scooter whereas in home bargains i'll be on my wheelchair which is easier to film from there but that's it from me i will see you in a minute
did B&M instead of Home Bargains. Got a few bits, you'll see that in a different haul, it won't be in the vlog, but we are going to Asda now, so I will hopefully catch up with you a bit there. of B&M and Asda but I haven't been able to film all the way around predominantly because there were a lot of people there and when they saw I was filming some of them got a bit funny so yeah but I've taken some still shots of some things and done a bit of filming but yeah I will haul it all but it will be in a separate video I don't know I think Paul thinks he's driving but this is my car <laughs> here it comes that's forcing, have it? Yep, this is here he is he's here he's just getting in so wave <laughs> to the camera there he is. Oh, I've got my hand over it. Hi. Hi. So, yeah, we just did Asda. Um, and now we're going home and I will haul it all. And then I will be filming some other video content for you. But, yeah. So, so far, that's today. See you soon. Hello, it's Tuesday. It's been another shit day for me. I've not had a good day. This is five o'clock. We are going to take some packages back to, we're going to send one back to Sheehan and Lucy's sending one back to Simply B. And then we are off to Costa and to Grandma's. Yeah. So yeah, there's not really going to be much today because, yeah, I haven't been good today. It's been a bad day. I feel like shit and everything hurts. Yeah. So I'm in the car. I'm going to do these things because one needs to do something in the day. And then I'm probably going to come home and, if I'm honest, I'm probably going to crash. So you're probably not going to see much of me today. So, yeah. If if mm. I get a second mm. win later on, then I might try and do something. But I very much doubt it. Mm. Getting really, really annoyed with fibro at the moment. It's really starting to grate. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's really not, kicking my backside at the moment. Nice. No. But we move we move on and I will check in with you probably tomorrow. Yeah. When I'm fe hopefully feeling a bit more with it. Yeah. Alright, see you tomorrow. Put it into two parts. Do your thing up. And we're back, it's now Wednesday. Just leaving Costa. Going to pick up my boy because he's on a half day, which is very annoying. Because it's now what time is it? Half past one. So I'm off out just to go and pick him up. I would show you all the scenery, but we've done that already. It's the same scenery. There's no point doing it every single week. 
because I do it every single day pretty much, five days a week, four days a week, it goes to the uni on one of them, so yeah, it's all good fun, um, Lucy's with me, say hello Lucy, hello. Uh, she always comes and keeps me company, um, just because, yeah, if I get stuck somewhere and I'm on my own, I can't, I can't walk, can I? So, I always try and have somebody with me, or I need to have someone with me, unless it's just, like, really local. My son works out in the, in the sticks in the middle of nowhere, so there's that. But, yeah, that's it from me for now. I will catch up with you. All right, it's Wednesday night and I'm back. I've got my boys, we've had something to eat and I managed to film a few videos, but I haven't, they're not makeup ones. I haven't put any makeup on today, I couldn't be asked. Um, yeah, I'm still struggling a bit. That's why there's not really been a lot. Um, yeah, hopefully, maybe tomorrow I'll be able to get out and about a bit more. I'll definitely give it a go. But yeah. That's it for Wednesday. I can't believe we're already on Wednesday. Where is the time going? But it's been bloody hot today. It's been lovely. Really lovely. Paul's been out in the garden. I'm going to do a little, like, reel or shawl or something of all the flowers that he's got. Um, they've all bloomed and they're absolutely gorgeous out there. So I'm going to do something and put something together and maybe put a shawl up of it or maybe on instagram or tiktok or all of them i don't know i don't know we'll just see we'll see but um yeah that's me signing off for wednesday and hopefully i will see you tomorrow so i'll see you then bye for now hi how you doing it's friday Normally I post this vlog on a Friday. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. It depends if I manage to get any more done today. I'm feeling better today. Not a lot, but a bit. But I thought I'd come on. And while I'm trying to recuperate, I thought I would show you a quick little summer makeup look. Now, I've done all my skincare and I've got my uh, SPF on. I just use the... I'm using this one at the moment. The Bondi Sands. I'm not. A, it's 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 a good SPF, but it's look at how shiny my face is. It's just, do you know what I mean? It just leaves you too too glowy, right? But I'm going to put a little bit of makeup on. But I'm going to put a very very light makeup on, so tints rather than like really really strong foundation. So I've got my Morphe brush. This is my Morphe brush, and I'm going to use. This is the XX Revolution Soft Beige, well, Skin Tint, Soft Focus Skin Tint, and I've got the colour Soft Beige. So I just thought I'd do that. Uh, primer. 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 Because if I had a brain, I'd be dangerous. Right. I will be back. Right. Right. Everything I'm using today is Revolution, apart from brushes. So I've got this. This is my Makeup Obsession Picture Perfect. If they don't do this one anymore... But they do the IRL in real life filter one. That is pretty much exactly the same. But this is a pore filling primer. Now, even though it's a skin tint, I'm old. I've got hair. I'm old and I've got large pores and some acne scarring. Some fine lines and wrinkles. So, we do that. We do that so that it gives a more of a smooth canvas. I mean, I'll be honest, right? These, if you look at my skin close up, there's no colour to it. But it's just, it's just a bit blurring. So it's, you know, you could use that on your own, on its own, if you didn't want... You know, a full face of makeup. You could just do that on your own. I'm going to use this, like I said. I did say that, didn't I? Right, and I'm just going to put a little bit in the palm of my hand. I've not tried this method with the skin tints. So, we're going to give it a go today. And we're going to pack that into the brush. 
because I want a light coverage. I don't want a lot of lot of coverage at all. So we're just going to do that and then just, just bounce it into the skin like that. We'll just work it in all over. We don't need loads. Just this I like this one. It just massifies and it's only ten pound. Um I have got other skin tints that I like that are a bit more pricey. Um but the Maybelline one, that's a nice one. Um I've got what was the other one that I really like? I can't remember. I can't remember. Oh, the Rimmel, the kind and free one. That's really good. Really like that. Really, really like that. But look, that's just gone on lovely. And it's just mattified everything down. I'm not using a concealer. I have got a bit of eyeshadow to put on, but it's a very basic look. So I'm, that's why I'm doing this first, because it's hot. You don't want loads and loads of makeup in the heat. Just... just to give it a bit of a wash of colour, right? Then I'm going to go in with the bronzing drops. But instead of using this as I did the first time as like an all over to give glow, I'm just going to put a few drops on the back of my hand and then I'm going to work it in like a bronzer. So I need another brush. Got these. These made by Mitchell ones. And... I'm just going to put a few drops on the back of my hand. Oh, sorry. The one thing I do have that I hate is my hands are quite weak at the moment. So even squeezing that out is a nightmare. Now I'm just going to take the brush. I'm just going to dab in a bit. I've probably got too much product there. But just dab in a little bit. And then just pat it in where I would normally put... A bronzer, look. Just like that. Just, and then just tap it in. I am going to go over it all with a sponge and just, because I always, I don't know why I do that, but I do. It's just a thing. But look, just tap it in. There we go. So we've just done that. And then I'm just going to get just a wipe, just get rid of that. And then we're going to go in with, with the bronzy drops. Um, oh, not the bronze, the blush. And this is just a nice rosy pink one. It's really, really pretty colour. It's just there. And I got this one and it's got the pink on it. So we know which one is which. So just dab it in there. And then just, just on the highlight of my cheek here, just bounce that in. Ever such a pretty blush, look. Just gives a nice flush of colour. And then I'm just going to get my... Where have I put my sponge? Huh, I had that in my hand. I don't know what I've done with it, but I'm going to go and find it. I will be oh, one minute. There we go. Just going to bounce it all in, mix it, sure it all blends together. I need my well, I can't see. Just blend it all together. And I do like this look. It just looks like skin. It doesn't look like you've got loads of makeup on or, or anything like that. It just looks like skin. And then I've got the, that's the blush, I've got the highlighter. Now I'm just going to put a tiniest little bit on my hand. 
and then I'm going to tap it in with my finger and then the sponge was too much that's too much but that's good because this will just see just a pretty glow What I like about these ones is they don't emphasize texture they're just really really pretty really pretty so yeah I've, I've been really impressed with these um, revolution ones of the only other ones I've tried is the um, W7 and I'll be honest I'm not really into them but I do like these ones and I just thought I would show you a glowy base so that's a glowy base just for summer and then I'm just going to do a bit of eye makeup and not anything too major. So I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush. I've got this palette. This is the Revolution Pro No Regrets Soft Nude palette. And it just looks like this. And it's just a little one. And these ones are, I love these. These are ideal for taking away. They've got a lot of kickback mind. I haven't done any more to prime my lids and put a bit of skin tint on just to even out the colour just check what I'm doing and just putting a bit of colour in I'm just using the lightest colour in the pan in the uh, in the palette and just putting a little bit of colour on not much I've forgotten the mascara because I do that though it is very hot today and then I'll just get a slightly smaller brush here we go just a slightly smaller brush I'm just gonna so the first shade I use is that one I'm just gonna go into this one here which is the darkest just a tiniest little bit just to deepen up the outer corner of the crease not anything major we're not doing a lot today just just to give a bit of definition there lift it a bit like that that's all we're doing just just a little bit just in that outer corner just to yeah just to deepen it up a bit of definition that's it yeah not nothing major and then we'll go back in with this one and just blend this is a really pretty eyeshadow palette. I do like this one. And then I'm just going to go into, uh, I think this, the uh, which one? This gold in the middle. Yeah, just like that. And just tap that. Just tap that on the lid a bit. And then take that brush and just blend the top because I got it everywhere yeah. so that's it just a just a quick little eye look nothing major just a everyday wearable eye look that you can just wear without too much of a problem I think they still do these palettes I hope they do they're good little palettes I've got a couple of them and they're ideal for if you're away or whatever and you don't want to take great big palettes these are I mean you can get a nice pretty little look that's just a basic very pretty very quick and easy eyeshadow look and then I'm just gonna go across the top with a blunt because I forgot the sharpener just on the outer bit there there and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to smudge it just to deepen that yeah just that's all I'm doing just smoking it a bit
Yeah. The one thing that I've noticed that Rev have not got on board with, brown mascara. I need it. I need it. I want them to come up with a decent brown mascara. I'm just going to take that brush and just run it along the lower. I'm not putting any more product. I'm just going to run it along there just to, just a little bit. There's plenty of product still on there. You don't need to get any more on there. There, see, and we've just defined the underneath without loads. Um, yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of powder on, not a lot. What one's this? Oh, yeah, this is my light pink. Revolution did this long before a lot of the others. I've had this ages, years even. I think about two years. It's a very, very pale, pale, pale pink. And I've got my Spectrum one. I'm just going to pick up some of the powder, just a little bit. Just on the tip there, and then we're gonna we're gonna work it into the puff like that. Make sure there, and then we're gonna start just on the very outer corner and just blot it in out there and in, just very very little amount. And I'm just gonna do it on my T-zone where I get the oiliest just to set everything down there. I haven't tapped into my powder again since that first little swipe. So what I'm using is literally just what is in the powder puff and there's hardly anything there, but it just gives you just a bit, just to smooth it out a bit, see? Right, I'm going to go and find my mascara and then I will be back for, yeah, the last of it. So, won't be a minute. <laughs> and I'm back right I've got me a waterproof I am going out of, well I say going out I'm going to pick up my boys that's it that's it oh and I shall probably find my way to Costa I will find my way to Costa there's no probably about it oh damn it look at that I'll show you how to fix that shall I you do that don't touch it not yet let it dry do the rest of your your mascara because you're probably going to get more if you're anything like me you're messy got a feeling this is drying out you know it's certainly isn't lasting as well as my first one this one is definitely yeah I don't know the first one I had was definitely a lot better than this so that's that so we're leaving it to dry leave it to dry don't touch then I've got one in here this is when I find out that I haven't I know I have, I always have one in here. Where are you? Where is it? I'm looking for a spoolie. Haha. -ha. This. Perfectly clean, perfectly dry. And then you just... Gone. And 
and that's all it takes. Gone. Hasn't ruined your underneath makeup. It's just gone. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to put a little bit of lipstick on. I've got this. This is another Revolution product. This is the Chauffeur Lights Lip Liner. I decluttered the liquid lipstick that went with it. I didn't like it. But I do like the lip liner. To be fair, I've got the chauffeur lip liner in so many different colours by Rev. It's like their dupe, I think, of Pillow Talk, I believe. Don't quote me, but I think that's what it's supposed to be. It's pretty close. Anyway, I'm just going to use this. This is the pout tint, and I've got it in the shade... Uh, Wild About Mauve. Which one of my favourite colours, so just there. I am loving these. I do love these. These are these are really nice and they dry and they do leave a nice stain on your lips. So yeah, that is a very, very quick summer makeup routine that I thought I would share with you just just to really so that I had something in this vlog because I've just been I'll be honest I've been so rough this week um I uh I really wish I could have filmed more but I haven't been anywhere um most days I've been asleep that's the truth of it I've slept for hours most days and at night I've been asleep um yeah, I've struggled to even wake up. So, it, I hate when I get like that. I don't get like it often, thank God. Because I couldn't cope. I couldn't cope if, it, if I was like it more than I am. But when I get like it, there's, there's just, there's nothing I can do. I can't wake up. I want to. Desperate to. But I can't wake up. I can't wake up. I can't. I can't stay awake for more than about half an hour, 45 minutes at a time. And then I'm falling asleep. I might wake up again 10 minutes later. I will jerk myself awake. I will, I'll get spasms. Um, I don't know if you know much about fibro, but I get spasms where my whole body will spasm. I'll be just drifting off to sleep and my whole body spasms. And it sort of sucks, me. I don't know, it's hard to explain. It sort of sucks me in. And I get a lot of um, spasms in my tummy area. I'll be honest, underneath the layer of flab I've got on my stomach, I must have a six pack because my stomach muscles do that on their own regularly. I'll be sat and I'll just, just go. It'll just go. And I can be sat here talking to you and my stomach can be going mad and you won't know. But I can feel it. It's sort of just doing that. All the time. Um, if I sit back, I, I, it doesn't do it on cue. So if I was to do it now, you wouldn't see it but I can sit back and be watching the telly and all of a sudden it's like someone is punching me in the stomach my stomach draws in like this and it takes my breath away it takes my breath away um I can be talking to someone and it literally is like someone is punching you in the stomach even my voice goes um I have to move and it will start up again and start up again I hate when it gets into those spasms um I don't film when they get like that because I can't talk properly because it's like being punched in the stomach. doesn't hurt like being punched in the stomach, but it feels like someone is sort of, they're jarring, you know, that, oh, oh, that's it. You hear it in my voice. Um, and it's, you know, from what I'm told, it's all part of fibro. A lot of us have it. Um, it's just, it's just irritating. Oh my God, it just drives me mad. It just drives me mad. I never know how to make it stop and none of none of the drugs make it stop and my legs my legs I get um restless legs but it's like yeah it's on crack and you just and I've started getting it in my arms and I you just don't know where to put yourself I can't 
I can't do anything on my phone. I can't watch the telly. I can't focus on anything because my arms are just, I just, yeah. Oh, well, I'm going to stop moaning. I'm going to stop moaning. I'm so sorry for having a moan. But I just wanted to explain why. Um, there are loads of videos I've filmed already that I, I filmed before I got bad this week. And then, so this one, it will go up. But then some of the other videos you're going to see have been filmed like uh, six, six, seven days ago. I did a batch of filming. That's what I do. I do a batch of filming um, just on days where I'm feeling okay. So that the days where I'm not, I don't have to worry. I still have content to upload. But yeah, it's if, if it gets to the point where um, there isn't a video going up, I will try and drop you a message and let you know what's going on. But yeah, if a video doesn't go up, then it's because I haven't filmed any in advance and it's because I've not been very well. But at the moment, I've got quite a few that I've filmed already. So yeah, I'm all right for about a week, I think. And then we'll go from there. We'll see what we can do. All right. Anyway, I'm going to go. I am going out to pick up my boys in a bit. Um, we've got to go to the chemist to pick up Lucy's tablets. Well, Lucy's going to the chemist to pick up her tablets. But other than that, uh, my son has just told me not to open the middle door. Middle door being my bedroom door because he's opening the front door for a delivery and Max will try and escape. So don't be surprised if he doesn't bark his head off any minute. Because that's what he does. But I'm going to go before he does that. So hopefully I will catch up with you again in a little bit in the car. Okay, bye for now. Okay, so we've been a Costa. We've been a Costa. I put my face on today, look. It's just a bit of a summer makeup. You would have seen that in the clip before. We are going to pick up my Andrew from his work, which we do pretty much every day. Um, and then that's it. I think we're going going home. I might. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna be filming a couple of videos when I get home, and then I might show you the little toy that came this week that I haven't had a chance to play with yet. What's that? My effort. Oh, right, yeah. I got a new air fryer. My son has bought it for me for my birthday. I was going to say, isn't that a birthday present? Yeah. He's bought it for me for my birthday. So, yeah, I'm going to show you show you that. And um, I've got another few bits that another son has bought me for my birthday. My birthday isn't until the 23rd. I know it's only the 10th. It's the 10th of May. But they gave it's me the money. Days. Yeah, they gave me the money when they got paid. So... I bought the stuff and then I just give it to them and then they'll no they'll give it to me yeah well the air fryer is going to get used anyway we're going to use that yeah I'm not going to wrap it no but yeah I will talk to you in a bit bye for now that's my air fryer yeah yeah not bad it was 37.99 so I'm well chuffed with that but yeah, it's a cream one. I think that's really nice. Yeah. Hi, yeah, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Um, here comes Maxie. You come in. You come in. Here he is. Come and sit down, then. You're gonna come and sit with mummy. Come and sit. No. He's gonna want his dinner in a bit. He's just there. You can't see him. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> come here. All right. He's just laying down here. Um, yeah, so I've been out, I've been and um, picked up my boys, or one of them, um, from work. Um, I've had a couple of little deliveries while I was out, so I thought I'd come up, I thought I'd show them to you, there's not enough to haul. Hello. <laughs> oh, come on then. Getting cuddles from Maxie. Mm. My boy, my boy. It's a beautiful boy. Are you a beautiful boy? <laughs> He's uh I don't know what he wants, but he he just likes to come for a cuddle. Um and he gets lots of fuss and attention, don't you, darling? Don't you baby? He's a baby. He's a little one. Yeah. I'll insert a couple of photos, you'll see. He um he likes I know a lot of people don't agree with having dogs in the bed, right? But because I have to sleep in the lounge, this is his bedroom as well as mine. So, yeah, it's you can't 
if if my bedroom was in a different part of the house he would not be allowed on the bed um when my bedroom was upstairs he wasn't even allowed in the bedroom but this is the living room this is where his room is um so i'm not going to i'm not going to do that and I, I don't mind i don't mind i don't mind i grew up in a house where not being funny animals took precedent over humans if you meet met my mum she's a lovely lady lovely lovely lady she's got a soft spot for all animals we had rabbits and hamsters and all that i had a hamster when i was growing up his name was mr honey and i had to get him out of his cage every single day he even got to run around in the garden free in the garden i used to go out there with him and um protect him but he used to get a good half hour 40 minutes just to mooch around in the grass um our rabbits were never in shut up in hutches they didn't need to be we didn't have predators or anything and we had cats so yeah so yeah they she she's it's always been the same cats because we had dogs as well the cats were fed on a it wasn't a dining table it was a little table in her kitchen that the cats used to get fed on but humans didn't eat at it but it was just in the kitchen it's just to keep it away from the dogs otherwise the dogs would help themselves to it but we weren't if the dog or the cats were sat on the sofa in the living room we weren't allowed to move them no no because they were there first so we had to sit on the floor and that's how i grew up so that's how my my dog gets treated he gets treated he is family so if he wants to come and sit on the bed with me, he can come and sit on the bed with me. If he wants to cuddle up in bed with me, he can come and cuddle up in bed with me. Like I said, I know some people don't agree with that. I know some people. <laughs> I know some people. I, I don't mind. I don't mind. He is the only pet I've got. I don't have any other animals. Um, I might I might do one day, but not, not with him. No. What is going on? Oh! There's somebody at the door. Brace yourself. Oh, it's Paul. Paul's back. Paul's back. Anyway, I've got a little, little, little haul. So it's just, um, I ordered this. This is one of the P. Louise bronzers. I ordered it off of, oh, what's it called? Uh, Vinted. This is Maple Moment. It's quite a dark one, but I've got the, um, what's the one? What's it called? The liquid bronzer so cream bronzer so i thought i would get the matching powder bronzer because i really like that shade and then because i'm planning on doing a full face of mua i got this it's a bit grubby um there you go oh look you can see my setup in it but it's the bronze and sculpt mua Lux, and it's got like this and this you will remember that i got it and this this shade was smashed to pieces but it's looking very 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 dark let's see what's it like oh no it's not very pigmented at all not very pigmented at all but it was mainly the top shade that i really like the look of i think that looks ideal as a like a contour shade for me yeah yeah so yeah i got that i really like that and then um i got these now I don't know if I can show you them. They're the little balls with little crystals in. And they're to go on my eyebrow rings. So this one is pink and this one is purple. So yeah, I got those. Paul. Hello. Hello. Would you do me a favour, please, sweet? Could you see the little brown box on the top there? That's it. Can you pass me that? Thank yeah. you. This was the other thing that I got that I meant to show you in another haul and completely forgot about it. But I got some earrings and I got them off of a shop called Shop Online. It's called Jewelry Box and they sell really, really pretty sterling silver. So I got this. I'll take it off. No, I won't. Look, that there. That ear cuff there. And I've got one there. And they're really good. They stay on. They don't come off. And then I got these earrings that I thought were really pretty. They've got little pearls on and they're like that. So I got those. I will link them down below, but I thought they were really pretty. I thought I'd put them in my first hole. 
but yeah so I got those and that's just a little a few little bits that I got that I thought I would tag on to this vlog just to just be, to make up for the fact that I haven't really gone anywhere or done anything this week so um yeah anyway I am going to end my vlog here um like I say I'm sorry it's not been a very very in-depth exciting vlog this month this week but um I haven't had a very good week hopefully next week hopefully next week will be better but yeah that's it from me so i do so hope you enjoyed the video if you did i'd love it if you give me a thumbs up subscribe down below for more videos to come and hopefully i will see you in my next one bye for now